is it? Mm. <laughs> we haven't got long. To us. Who is it? Brian Libby found him out in his paper round. <laughs> You'll be having nightmares for a while. Must have hit the sign at some speed. Took the old top off. I've had my top off in this layboy. <laughs> Tets. Most likely lost control, left the road there, and then ended up here. I think somebody needs to go home. I'm not that drunk, sir. Not you. Him. What? Hey, we did get a little drunk. <laughs> you get it? Because he's, he's little and he's drunk. Oh, good grief. It's hardly in keeping with the village's rustic aesthetic, is it? How much does I owe you? 20 quid. There you go. Yeah. And there's your change. God bless you. Bye bye. Oh. <laughs> I'm all right. Who oh dear? I would not want to be here in the morning. Well, this is me. Well, I shall see you in the morning. Unless you want to come in for a cup of coffee. I don't drink coffee. Tea? I, no caffeine after midday. How about another beer? Um. Tried to have a little fry up and left the gas on. Spends his whole life devoted to the refrigerator and gets killed by an oven. <laughs> the Their first, first name, name is Simon Skinner. <laughs> Too much, Too much of Joyce's lemonade, lemonade perhaps. <laughs> So, maybe they were all accidents. Oh, people have accidents every day. <laughs> what are you two up to? Uh, nothing. Well, look sharp, there's been reports of a fire in the station. What? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Danny, why didn't you say something? We were working, weren't we? Hey, hey, where are you going? Personal errand. Hello, 
Hello, Miss Tiller. I was wondering, do you have any Japanese peace lilies? Of course. <laughs> I was just about to pop off, actually. I'd never find my scissors. Is this for someone special? Yes. Yes, it is. You're going somewhere, Miss Tiller? Uh, yes. I'm moving away. And, uh, why the move, if you don't mind me asking? Well, just between you and I. Yeah? You know that fella who blew up? George Merchant? Well, George Merchant got dressed and wanted to buy this land. So he sent round his legal fella, Martin Blower, got dressed him. And I thought I might take them up on it. I haven't really got that much family round here, save my cousin Sissy. So I thought I might take them up on the offer and move to Buford Abbey. Would you like a card with this? No, sorry, you were talking about the offer. Well, it turns out that Martin Blower, God rest him, knew where the new bypass road is going because he was knocking off Eve Draper from the council, God rest her. And then that reporter, God rest him, finds out about the route and tells me this land is very valuable. Ten times what George Merchant and Martin Blower, God rest them, offered me. So with them having passed on, I decided to sell it on myself to some folks from the city that Martin, George and Eve, God rest the lot of them, have been talking to. Apparently they want to build a big shopping centre or something. Of course, Cousin Sissy won't be too happy happy about that but as far as I'm concerned cousin says it can go and fuck. Would you just excuse me for just one second? You're saying this wasn't an accident. <laughs>